All right, so I have like 20 minutes to do this because I'm judging a, like an online talent contest. So a, a lot of people asked, you know, because uh, Around the World in 30 Days was on a bunch of forums and whatever, and people have heard it before. They said, ooh, why don't you mix that? So I'm going to tell you how I'm doing this. I, I, I found the original session. Actually, I found looking for an old client from Hollywood, like 20 years ago, I was looking for her record to do something for a licensing thing. And I found my last, my most recent full folder that had every record I've made on my own. So I pulled it in here a couple of weeks ago, knowing that I was going to start mixing these things. So anyway, I found it. What I did was I have the folder with all, like it's like 25, 30 songs that I've recorded over the last 20 years. Um, of my own stuff, not client stuff, my stuff. I took it and I put it, uh, it's on this drive. So now I took it off of there. I copied it onto this new working folder that I'm working on. And I give, I give the folder, I give this Around the World in 30 Days folder. I called it now. Um, the folder is called uh, Mix 2021 so that it's a different folder from the original. So there's no confusion. Anyway, I just pulled it in. I did a save as. Mix 2021, I came out and I blew out the old weird heart <laughs> IO. Yeah, and now we're here. And so here's the song. So then I thought, well, let me let me just let me just do this really quick. I've got about 20 minutes and let's see if we can get this thing happening. So I've got all these tracks, they're all grayed out. It's just not the way I like to work. So we're just gonna first things first come up and go to prefs. And we're going to I'll, I'll do the thing where we allow the display to the color on those things. Important to me anyway. All right, so let's start by highlighting. This is this is from the mix. Let's highlight everything that was buses that doesn't have audio, and we're going to delete it. So all we're going to be left with is the audio. So I'm getting rid of all these returns getting rid of all this automation and routing. We're starting from scratch. This is an old, this is a mix from, I don't even know, 15 years ago. Greg Sartiano, see Uber, I, these are named, this is better than, let's get rid of this master fader, let's get rid of this ref track. And you always wanna do save as before you do this stuff in case you do something stupid and blow something out. And the rest of that's junk. So let's get rid of this. We highlight, right click, we delete. Boom, boom. And now we'll come to this sub. Look at this, it's still set up for automation 15 years later. We'll keep the click in there just for now. And uh, we will, oh no, 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 no. Don't get rid of Vogue Done. Jeez, don't get rid of Vogue Done. And we're gonna delete, bam. So that is everything. We gotta definitely get rid of that automation. Let's come here and make everything medium. And we'll set everything to uh, waveform. All right. And as you can see, everything's grayed out because there's no outputs. That's the whole song. So now if I was to come here and hit one and two, we'll just get rid of any of these erroneous, we want to get rid of any busing. There you go. So in theory, when I hit play, this should make sound, but I don't have a master fader, so let me go in all mode and tuck this in a little bit just so we don't blow stuff up and we get out of all mode. Woo, I've learned that lesson. Keep doing this long enough, you manage to make every imaginable mistake. Yeah, we'll bring this here, there you go. Okay, cool, let's see what happens. it is we got sound oh we don't have a, an intro uh marker come on jay it's funny opening up really old sessions you know you're learning right okay we have no uh click yeah it's because it's off uh oh it's got automation let's let's see what the click's doing here let's go down this click Yeah, it's, it was almost like when we were tracking it, it was some... Right. Now, so we 
want to come here. I'm kind of rushing because now I'm going to try to get this done. Let's set this to quarter notes. This is like just kind of like how I like to work. So it's got all the, the kick samples. Like, so yeah, we're gonna have to mess with this, but let's just get a little started because this is next. Uh, Don't Leave a Light On is done and that's coming up next. Let me make sure that we did, I wonder if we did crossfades. Yeah, we did crossfades, we're cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll print out these kicks. Uh, I'll get the levels that we had them at. Um, You know what I'll do first, let's just, uh, I almost feel like doing this. I like to just do this is highlight everything that's here in the groups and then just delete act delete all the groups. I just don't want any groups. We'll start from scratch. We're going to come here and we're going to find where these drums are. Now remember Over's Ride Room looks like drums end there. Double click. Let's just make them blue. Just so we can see them. That looks like a bunch of drums and we're just going to call this drums. Kind of as a temp thing. And we're going to come here, and we're going to go modify. And you know what's funny? There's some weird, you know, it's like no matter how much money you buy on Pro, spend on Pro Tools, no matter how updated you are, it's quirks. But it's not just Pro Tools. It's Mac, too. I mean, there's quirks in all of it. So get your, uh, you should get a PC and Cubase game on now. And we don't, yeah, there you go. We'll just listen to that. So there's drums. Yeah. All right, a lot of a lot of tracks. Uh, this should be bass. We'll make this uh, green. Let's see. Just make that green. Nice. All right. That was my ringer. If you couldn't tell. All right. Everybody's annoying me. Now we come to guitars, and these are all labeled. This is, man, there's two completely different sets of guitars on this because there's the first set. Then remember, keep in mind, we were doing a lot of experimenting. There is an Ecstasy. This is an Ecstasy track, a Bogner Ecstasy. This is an Orange. This is probably my Rocker Verb 50. Yeah, nice. Soldano, this was when I had the Avenger, whatever it's called. Wompy. This is my 2000. That's old. This is when I was playing a Marshall 2000. Hold on a second. That sounds nice, though. Call me. Why am I calling you? <sighs> Hold on. Hey, what's up? Where are you now? Are you home? Yeah, if you want to hit it. All right. Uh, all right. Well, whatever you want to do. All right. Don't don't. If you can't get go, don't worry about it. All right. All right, I love you. All right. A lot going on. See, that's nice. That's a JCM 2000. People talk smack. This is another Soldano track. I don't know what that is. Now I come, and then I've got the double of the ecstasy. So this, this is all kind of that. You know, I'm probably going to, how are these? Oh, well, now I don't know the panning because I blew out the. Thing. It's probably right. I got it. I got it. So we come here. We'll go back to this. So this is all one. This is <laughs> if you can imagine that. And I'm just going to keep the blends right now the way they are. I'm not going to blow all this out. Here is left and right. This is one take. 
It, it probably was two mics on the Saldano, if you can imagine. I want to call this G1. Yo, G1. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to bounce any of this down because... I don't know. And then this is the next set. And this was tracked. And keep in mind, we were learning and we were experimenting. And there's a lot of everything. Uh, I'll strip strip the session down as we go. But you know what? I, I you know, I don't, I don't find fault with it. You know, it's how you learn, right? You just do a bunch of stuff and figure out what you like and what works. All right. So this is the Ubershaw. This was tracked later on. Like... Before, right before we mixed, I bought an Uber shawl, and uh, and there, yeah, and I put it on here. So there's the Uber, and that should probably, it's like three mics. I know, it's crazy. Look at that, right? Yeah, there's probably A, B, and C. Let's see. Uh, O3, O3B, O3C, yeah. All mislabeled. It's all right. It's better than the other ones, though. The other ones, we figured out. We found the video on the primary amp on "Don't Leave a Light On," and, and the other one, "Rely On," was the orange. Jeez. All right. This is the like verse guitar. So we'll come here. We'll call this G Ver, and we solo this, and we should get some. Uh, a nice one that's probably ac30 and uh twin or something it doesn't say it that's probably ac30 and that's probably yeah a and b those are that's one track that's two guitar amps doesn't say which one though all right now we come to here and these are dan i don't know what this is this is all the Oh, there's Dan Solo, James Solo. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see what this is. Cleans. <laughs> Noxious. Soldano. Soldano. I don't know. ST. Trem, Trem, Nashville guitar. Oh my God, right, alternate tunings. We'll just try this. I, I don't know if this is right. We're just gonna call this G Clean. And I'll, again, I'll go through this. Oh, Sansamp. Wow, that's crazy. This is probably just a little... Uh, let's give this a color. Ugh. I got like 10 more minutes, guys. I'm just trying to... This is the beginning. I am so inspired. I had so much fun mixing, uh, mixing, um, don't leave a light on, man. That was a learning experience. And then I'll come here. Let's just, we'll just call that G lift. I don't know what it is. It's just a little, bleh, right, going into the solo, right? So that's G lift. Now here's my solo. Uh, uh, J solo, which is not really a solo. This is more of just the melody. Yeah, man, that's really nothing like Dan's, though. Dan throws down. This is Dan or D, D solo. We had like a hundred guys redo this solo. Did I put, I put that in there. We had like a hundred guys redo this solo from Rig Talk. 
<laughs> they all played over it, and I just I put together this like twenty minute song of, and I, I I named each person as it hit them. Oh shoot! Uh, hold on. And uh, you know there was a lot of good stuff. There was a lot of shredding, but man, nobody sounded like a record more than Dan to me. There it is. So that's it. It's all there. It's working. What I'm probably going to do now is let's set this up. You know, this whole thing with the, all these different tabs in the edit window, I never worked like this because my focus was always more on production and editing and, I, and songwriting and playing guitar and tracking that I, I wanted more real estate. And when I would see guys that work like this, I'm like, that's kind of a drag. Like, I don't want to come over here and hit the volume here. I just go like this, right? But the more I've been getting into mixing, the more I realize, like, oh, it's cool. Like, I get it. I get why guys do that. And there it is, man. Lots of guitars. So let's just take a second and... you know what we're just gonna blow this whole thing out because I'll move my click down I'm just gonna blow it all out I don't, I don't want all this this crap on there I don't know what it is and <sighs> let's come to mix let's add in all the inserts and let's just uh, option and get rid of all this I don't, I don't need it we're starting from scratch Self. And that should be the whole thing with nothing but a click track. No master bus right now, just that's it. Alright, so I gotta go. I got 20, I got 10 minutes and I got to make a quick phone call. So what I'm going to set up right now is I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get rid of the drums. Why is this doing this? Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the, 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 whatever six kicks here and we're just going to run those, right? Right. And that's the blend that Greg had used, right? Oh, no, 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 no. There's kick. So it's DD, Yammy, M DMX, Low, and Smack kick. These are the old samples that we used to use. So we're going to add a mono, and we're going to call this Kick Sam. And what we're going to do is we're going to input this bus one, and we're going to take all of these minus the actual kick. We're just going to take the kick samples. 
we're going to move them all to uh, bus one. Boom. Put bus one in solo and record mode. Let's just get an idea of the volume. Yeah, you know what? That'll be fine. That's fine. Now we're going to do the same thing with snare. Snare top and wow, do I not even have a snare bottom? Look at that. There's no snare bottom. That's how OG this is. No, there's a snare bottom. See, that would never be there. That's See, we've changed all this. He put snare top and then all these samples. So we'll come here. These are all SD crack. I still use some of these. BB, Black Beauty, BB2, SD Fat, BK, SD Tama, SD Tama 2, SD DMX. That's that. All right. So now here's all the... the uh, what we'll do now is we'll come and we'll send all these out bus two and what we're going to do is prep this and get this going while we and we'll call this s s s n sam snare samp and now we're going to put this in bus two and then we're going to come and go boom 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 and come here here and make them solo and now we should hear them both. Yeah, a little hot, that's all right. Mm. Let me just group those. We'll go with that, that's, that's fine. Now, Command Shift U, Command Shift B, remove, save where we're at. And we're just going to bounce this down. And there it is. All right. Looks good. All right. So that's the beginning. Save as, blow out junk. Do your uh, your your session uh, your I/O because you don't want the junk from this and around the world. Thirty days is coming, man, and then that's probably going to be it for the rock stuff. We're going to start mixing some pop and country because I want to have like six or eight songs done in the next three or four weeks. But as so many people asked about this, I thought, all right, it'll be fun. And this is a different session, a different era, a different drummer. I think it's still Greg Cash on bass and. Me and Dan McMain's on guitar, but this sounds totally different. So I probably won't be pulling in any of the template. We're going to start from scratch. So like and subscribe and peace out.